Rhodesian Ridgeback. My Rhodesian Ridgeback lives for fetching, hunting, and swimming. Today in northern New Mexico, the wind chill is a brisk 9 degrees and it's snowing heavily with an 18 mile an hour wind. There will be no outside adventures today, that's for sure. But luckily for Scout, I am planning one of my favorite trips to the Picos Wilderness area just northeast of Santa Fe this coming April. I will backpack in and take my burro Pepper Jack with us. It will still be cold on the trip up, but I know Scout will want his lips flapping in the wind while his head hangs out of the passenger window. We will camp at several of our favorite spots and I will give my best shot at climbing Wheeler Peak. Scout is so athletic that he sometimes has to encourage me to keep up with him. One of the neat things about Rhodesians is that they aren't picky eaters, which is important when you're backpacking into the wilderness. Rhodesians don't often bark, but when they do, they usually have a good reason, and this quality comes in handy in the wilderness as well. Pepper Jack and Scout are the best of friends, and Scout will defend both Pepper Jack and me should some threat come our way. I was pretty certain that every now and then a mountain lion comes close enough for Scout to smell it, but none has given us any problems. Occasionally, we run across a rattlesnake, but I just call Scout to stay close to me, and we keep clear of the danger. But when we get back home, Scout will probably dig a new hole for himself in the backyard. I don't mind. I'm a single gal with a modest house in the Hemis Mountain Range, and I'm not much into landscaping. I'd rather take those precious trips into God's country and enjoy his landscaping.